Well, this is straight under the could have told you so files here, but a valuable lesson, at least I hope will be learned by some in regards to why it is that low hanging fruit seems cheap. Low hanging fruit is never cheap. It is never cheap. It always comes with a high cost. So the fruit hangs low, but the cost is high. All right, well, straight from the, is anybody surprised about this? Well, actually, there are a good number of people who are surprised because, as you all remember, there were people who were arguing with me about whether or not this would occur, and sure enough, I was correct. So it's breaking across the news here in the last 24 hours here. Kiki Palmer, Saturday Night Live, show off my belly of dancing and thotting it up at the Usher concert Palmer has been granted temporary restraining order and custody of her son. I want to say their son against one Darius Jackson. Now you can't just get this all from one place because things have been moving along here, but according to page six from the article you see here, Kiki Palmer granted temporary restraining order against Darius Jackson, custody of son. Kiki Palmer and her baby boy have obtained protection from her ex-boyfriend, Darius Jackson. Ex-boyfriend, that's strange. That wasn't what it looked like the last time we talked to her, but okay. A Los Angeles County judge granted Palmer's temporary restraining order request, people reported Friday. The order requires Jackson to remain at least 100 yards away from both the actress and their eight month old son. Some of the ways in which these things are reported and some of the language that they use is just absolutely diabolical and evil, which is what contributes to these kinds of situations occurring. But we'll come back to that. Pay attention to that last sentence. I said, though, the order requires Jackson to remain at least 100 yards away from both the actress and their eight month old son, Leotis. Leo, including any child care or schooling established for the child. Palmer was also granted temporary sole physical and legal custody of Leo with no visitation for Jackson, who also goes by Darius Dalton. A hearing to determine next steps was set for December 5th. Fellas, TK Kirkland said it. I've been saying it now for two decades. Gentlemen, when are you going to learn? It doesn't matter how haggard, raggedy, silly, otherwise stupid the female may seem. They have a system that is set up to give them preferential treatment. And that any time that she decides that she wants to pull a trump card on you, She can, which is why women are constantly pressuring you. The amount of gaslighting that's going on today is at mythical proportions. Pressuring you to give them a baby or give them a ring. That you got to do that. You're not a real man if you don't. Only real men do that. Fellas, it's a damn trick bag to catch the desperate, the dopey, the dumb the delusional, it's a trick bag for you. These fellows who go off and go do this, telling yourself that you're going to handcuff her, telling yourself that you're going to give the relationship stability and permanence. And she's like, I'm going to get to take out all of my evil, ruthless, disgusting, darker urges. I finally have somebody that I can punish. I can punish you relentlessly. They've been waiting their whole lives to get a man that they can just sit him down and do him unlimited amounts of harm. Sick, diabolical, torturous. They're looking for somebody they can hurt to an unlimited extent. And you've been elected. You take a look at the stories we keep rattling off week after week. Tyrese Gibson, Will Smith, Joe Smith. 
Now Darius Jackson, every time we turn around, they're trying to do outrageous amounts of harm to you. It goes on to say here that reps for Palmer and Jackson did not immediately respond to page six's request for comment. However, shortly after the former TRO request was made, request made headlines, temporary restraining order. The latter tweeted a photo of him with Leo alongside the words, I love you, son. See you soon. They're talking about Darius Jackson. All right. On Thursday, the Nope star 30, 30 years old, by the way, I've told you all for years, once 30 starts coming into sight, females get desperate. And if things don't go their way, they look for someone to harm and to hurt because things aren't going the way she wanted to. She filed for domestic violence restraining order as well as full custody of Leo, accusing Jackson, 29, of, quote, physical and emotional abuse. In the court documents, which were obtained by page six, Palmer alleged that there have been, quote, many instances of physical violence with the college athlete turned personal trainer during their relationship. Now, these are page six's words, not mine. These are not my words. These are page six's words. Let me go ahead and I'll throw it on your screen for you there. These are page six's words on your screen. This is from their article. All of a sudden, he's no longer at. Now they're showing you how they can turn that against you. If he was a big fat slob on the couch, they'd be saying the overweight individual. Now he's an in, a fit, in shape guy, personal trainer, college athlete turned personal fitness train turned fitness trainer. Oh, so now his physical ability is now a negative, which she said began in June 2021 and. Quote, finally ended for good in early October. Palmer accused Jackson of, quote, destroying her personal property, throwing her belongings into the street, throwing her car keys to prevent her from driving away, hitting her in front of their son. Now listen to this next one here. Spewing profanities about her to their son. To their son. To their Eight month old. Now, folks, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm one of those kids who began talking early in life. Also, I, 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 eight months. No, I didn't have the English language tricked out at eight months. It was actually a um, little over a year later. But uh, yeah, eight months, eight months. The, the kid is eight months at this time. That would have been close to like six months, eight months. Really? Eight months. Six months old. Okay. Folks, this is how ridiculous we have to be today. This is how ridiculous it has to be. She literally put this in court documents. Literally put this in court documents and page six is running with it. I just want you to be aware of that. Threatening to kill himself with a gun if she left him and harassment. Quote, is it because of our son, Leo, that I was finally able to end my relationship with Darius once and for all and escape the abuse? She wrote, Leo is the most important thing in the entire world to me. He needs to des he needs and deserves to be safe and grow up in an environment free from violence. She added, unfortunately, ending my relationship with Darius has not ended his abuse. If anything, he is even more unhinged. Volatile and dangerous to both me and our son. The Hustler star went on to include screenshots from security camera footage that appeared to show that appeared to show Jackson striking her in her home on November 5th after she explained she didn't want Leo going to a football game. Folks, listen to me for a moment here. I don't have any biological children. You all know that. Never been married. I don't have any biological children. Now imagine some, the, the usually the complaint that you hear is about the men 
not spending time with their children and not coming to see their sons or whatever. Usually it's that, or they just coming over to see the son because they want to lay up with mama. Now you have a situation where you've got a man who is coming over to see the son. He wants to take the son to a football game and the mother says, I don't want you taking them to a football game. See, this is the situation that we have. This is the situation that we have. Where they're being told that they have ownership, that if they have a baby, if they don't abort them, that they have ownership of the baby. Now, men have the financial, physical, and social obligations, but the women have ownership without any of those obligations. Now, the way this is, is, she explained this. She didn't want Leo going to a football game. I wonder if that's why they only released, quote, still images. Why didn't you release the whole video? Because if you see, if you release a video of this man trying to leave with his son to go to a football game, and then you show video of her standing in his way, making sure that he can't leave, then that might change the way you think about this. So we'll just release some very cherry picked still images. Why didn't you release the whole video? If you got the goods, just release the whole video then. So just to understand to all of you who come from hood rat mania and everything out of your mouth is the men's is rounds. By the way, logic and reason kind of goes against you here. Why, if she released stills from it, why didn't she just release the video? Because you know this came from her. It's the only person it could have come from. Okay, so she wants to sit up here and dump all this in public. No problem. Why don't you put the whole video out then so that we can have the proper context? So she admits that the issue was he wanted to take his son to a football game, but then will not say, show what happened afterward. She won't show what she did. Why don't you put the whole thing out so people can see what you did as opposed to you trying to poison the public against him? Why don't you just go ahead and put the whole video out, Kiki? And then we can just go ahead and wrap that up. She goes on to say, at that point, he lunged at me, grabbing at my neck and face, knocked me backwards over the couch, stole my phone out of my hands, and then ran out of the house. People, I thought this guy is some great, big, huge, brooding athlete. You can see he's significantly taller than her, and all she could say was, he took her phone. Now, here's the next thing is, by the way, why did he take her phone? Because we know that she's been laying up with him since the Usher concert incident. Why did he take her phone? Perhaps because she's been doing other things on the phone. Well, he took the phone to keep her from calling the police because he wanted to beat her up. But that's not what she said. Even she couldn't substantiate that. And then just says, that Jackson nearly hit her with his car when he tried to flee the scene. Now, I have some experience with that of people trying to hit me. I've got some experience with that. Um, it usually ain't that easy. He nearly hit her with the car when he tried to flee the scene. Excuse me. I thought she was inside the house. If she was inside the house and he is this big villainous Thanos individual, why is it that when he left the house, she didn't lock the door? Doesn't that make a lot more sense to you? You can buy another cell phone, Kiki. If it's an Apple phone, you can lock the phone remotely. You could buy another cell phone, but according to this, she followed him outside, obviously. So anybody who wants to try to make this cut and dry, by the way, don't look now. Kiki is kicking your explanation of the events, cleaning the damn teeth, by the way. By the way. 
Just in case you want to try to give that explanation, by the way, um, she's admitting that he ran out of the house and what she won't say here is I ran after him. Instead of I was in fear for my life, lock the door. Which is what your grandmothers would do. This is what we would advise our grandmothers to do. If somebody broke in their house and attacked them and he ran out the house, how many of us would advise our grandmothers, go outside and go get your cell phone back? We would say, if you don't lock that damn door. So no wonder you're only right now, you're only getting still images. She's not showing the whole video. And why is it that the media outlets are not demanding the entire video? Because if Darius were releasing only stills, they would be calling him a liar or questioning him and saying, you need to release the whole video. If you all agree, give me the fire emoji in the chat room and hit the likes button for me. There's over 2,000 people in here in just the first 15 minutes. We have a lot of ground to cover if you all would like this. And by the way, I'm starting on this subject, but I will not be ending here. And I want to thank everyone who has contributed to support tonight's program on PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat, Venmo. Thank you very much for your support. Because tonight we are discussing the high cost of low-hanging fruit and why weak men get punished. It is not enough to just have you around. You got to get punished. And I was warning about this. I was warning anybody about this with Darius a long time ago here. I've been warning it since the very beginning. You will get punished. When you are dealing with a narcissistic female, you will get punished, fellas, if she feels like she has leverage. First, she sees you as her man. Then she sees you as her child. And if you will not knuckle under, she will try to break you which is where he is now. This is where he's at today. The Aquila and the B star called the police who issued a warning to Jackson, quote, not to come back. So in other words, the police didn't, even the police didn't see anything. Even the police didn't see anything there. Think about that for a few moments. Think about that for a few moments. A Los Angeles County judge. This is in California. This is in California. If they could have arrested him, they would have. In other words, the police took a look and didn't see anything they could arrest him over. If they could have arrested him, they would have done so. So to anybody asking that, by the way, if they could have, they would have. In a separate incident from February 2022, Palmer claimed Jackson became, now these are her assertions, by the way, he became enraged when she showed him a photo of herself in a bikini to mark the progress of her fitness journey. Quote, in the bedroom, he slammed me on the floor and slapped my head from side to side. The next morning, he was standing at the bottom of the stairs near the front door, screaming at me as I was coming down the stairs, she alleged. Folks, chronologically, does this make a lot of sense to you here? I just got questions. So he got uh, enraged because she showed him a photo of herself on her weight loss journey. Does that even sound right? Folks, does that even make any sense? He's living with her every day. How the hell does a man get upset because a woman is getting more fit? No, he doesn't. Now, if she's up here telling him about how the boys like it and other dudes like it, and you know the stuff she was doing at the Usher concert, because we've all seen how she handles showing herself. It's always public. It's always ostentatious. It's always combative. It is always combative. Now, her version of the events, all those other times it was, oh, but this time last year it wasn't. Not this time it wasn't. Trust me, I just showed him a picture of myself in a bikini to show that I'm losing weight and he became enraged. That literally makes no sense whatsoever. Now, if you plug in her more recent behavior, then it does make sense. Then it does.
Then once again, more still images. There's no context here. More still images. No context, none whatsoever. Just take my word for it. This says, other screenshots appear to show Jackson attacking Palmer. No, it doesn't. It looks like he's shining her shoes. Folks, come on now. Come on. When I was almost at the bottom of the stairs, he grabbed me around the neck and body slammed me back into the stairs. Where's the video? Where's the video? We, you could have cleared this up by just showing the video and then this would all be a closed case. Where's the video? If you had it, you got the video, yet you don't want folks to see it. Recognize when somebody is trying to play the public. This makes no sense to do this this way. None. Palmer included more screenshots from security camera footage of the alleged altercation, which appeared to show a shirtless Jackson attacking her at the bottom of the staircase. No, it doesn't. You're just going to, she said, take a look. I've been attacked. Take my, take my word for it. Kiki's mother. We ain't never heard from this woman before. Now have we? Sharon Palmer. You mean the one who taught her daughter to walk around with her ass out in front of Usher? Mom of the year. Has since spoken out in support of her daughter. But of course. While Darius' brother, insecure actor Serenius Jackson, has taken to social media to defend him. Not exactly, but okay. Not exactly, but okay. Now, I want to show you I want to show you here. I want to show you the mom of the year. I want you to hear what she has to say. This is Kiki Palmer's mother now. This is her mother that you're about to hear who's gone to Instagram or whatever because that's what mature females in their 50s or so do today, right? And then they go to Instagram to talk about this, a woman who's never spoken up before, never said anything before, when her daughter was up there swinging the butt cheeks in front of Usher, not a word before, nothing to say before, but uh, now she shows up. Look, I've never done anything like this. I've been in this business for 22 years. I've seen a lot of stuff, but this is, this is, I, I can't help myself. For Sharonis Jackson to post on his Twitter, uh, the ridiculous stuff that he's posted when he knew his brother was abusive. I went to Sharona's over a year ago and told him that his brother was abusive to my daughter. And he said, uh, well, I used to be like that too. What? So now he's posting on Twitter. So you see that her and her daughter engage in the dark arts of character assassination. We don't have this man to speak up for himself. This is what the daughter, if you're going to get out there, you got to frame things. You got to put the image out there and he can't be allowed to speak against it. So we don't have anybody here to speak for themselves. She's telling you, let me tell you exactly what occurred. And, and there's no one here to speak for themselves. She's the only one. So if you wonder where her daughter got this from and if this is coordinated, I just thought you'd like to know that, by the way, yeah, that happened. His brother was abusive to my daughter, and he said, uh, well, I used to be like that, too. What? So now he's posting on Twitter like he's this uh, special guy. We, we know he's the biggest boy in Hollywood. He's disrespectful to women, just like his little brother. He taught his brother how to be abusive. So he don't get to act like... He's this special guy. No, you're a f boy and you're a part of the problem. This is Kiki's mother. Do you believe that a woman taught by, raised by somebody like this at her advanced age, do you believe that someone raised by, that this woman Raised by this woman here with that attitude, do you think that this woman would square off on you and fight you? Does she sound, does that sound like a woman who raised a wilting violet and a soft, demure female? Or does that sound like a woman who raised a little head busser? 
You tell me. By the way, my likes are kind of low tonight, so if I call things quit early, that, that that's the explanation for you all. We'll just take it back up Monday. But by the way, I thought this was important because this is a situation that a lot of these guys are living in today. And so, ladies, if you want to know why it is that men are very reluctant today to get married and very reluctant today to have children, particularly if that man is A, high profile, B, high income, he doesn't have any real attachments to you that he has to stick by. He can get up and leave. If he needs to, he can get up and leave. You can't do that when a woman's carrying your child. You can't do that when a woman's carrying your name. And that's why so many fellas today are allowing themselves to get gas lit. Let me tell you something right now. The dumbest thing in the world a fella can do today is let some jack legged ass female sit up here and tell him that you ain't a real man if you don't get, if you don't marry her. Fellas, what kind of weak ass simplified Super sucker simp mama's boys raised, were you all raised to be? Some females, yeah, there's some here with full-fledged gaslighting today. There's a couple of them on my friends list. I'm not going to say any names because I don't want Goldie to be embarrassed. But, uh, I mean, they sitting up here and whatnot talking about, uh, well, about how they are so glad to be, uh, I'm, I'm, I, what all the real men getting married need to do. All right, all the real men getting married. All right, fine. All the real men need to get married, right? They need to get married to you. Then turns right around and says that she don't claim her husband. I'm just saying, by the way, Goldie, if you want to call up about that, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. You can do that too. But by the way, that's the way it is today, fellas. They just want that if they can use it. They just want that if they can use it. They just want if they can use it. Fellas are sitting up here allowing themselves to get gas lit. Fellas, if you want to know what looks like a simp, the biggest simp in the world is some jackass who sits up here and lets a female tell you that marriage makes you a man. No, being a man makes you a man. Being a man does that. By the way, one more thing here, Goldie, I would recommend that you do not attempt to take those posts down, ma'am, because... I've already screenshotted them, but just by, by the way, I would just let you know that by the way, just in case you have a change of heart later, I would love to talk to you about it, but just in case you have a change of heart later, I would recommend you don't take them down. It would be very embarrassing for me to have to repost them for you, but just in case, just in case, fellas, this is the new thing today. This garbage that they say isn't for public consumption, it's for yours. You're the sucker who's supposed to get ringed in. Because they have a system that will back them up. If you, when you talk about leaving the female to her own, that means leaving her to her own. That means no marriage, no ring, no babies. It also means you don't cohabitate. It also means you don't let them trick you into cohabitating. You don't do that. When she acts a fool, you can do like, forget my hat, my Gandhi, get my hat, my coat and hit the door. This is why you have to have options. This is why you have to have other females that you can discuss things with because when a woman feels that she is your only option, when a woman feels that, then she's like, oh, nigga, I got you over a barrel. I don't have to respect you. All that stuff I did to get this together, I don't have to do any of that anymore. These are the rules today, fellas. As any married man, as any single father in here, all of them will unanimously say the same damn thing. As soon as you do that, it's like, oh, well, I don't have to do anything. And this is the woman who raised Kiki, the bomber Palmer. This is the one who raised her. Trying to tell you and me that her daughter is a victim of abuse. Yes, I wanted to freeze it on that frame right there. By the way, that looks like some people I've met previously. Double chins ahoy. You find some chick, you figure she wears glasses. You figure, well, how could it possibly go badly? I mean, hood rats don't have good eyesight. I mean, good rats, uh, hood rats all have good eyesight. All the good girls have bad eyesight. The hood rats have good eyes. Okay, fellas, keep believing that one if you want to. Keep believing that if you want to.
There are lessons I want the fellas out here to learn. There are lessons I want the fellas to learn. And the first thing I want you guys to learn here is understand something. Men tend to love hoes because hoes tend to be d- easy to deal with at the beginning. If you want the full details on that, just go ahead and check out my program from last week. Hoes and the Housewives Basketball Edition. Joe Smith is learning the ropes from his wife. Hoes are easy to deal with in the beginning. What fellas don't understand is that hoes love sex, but there's one thing that a hoe loves more than sex. She loves to fight. Hoes love fighting. Hoes love drama. Hoes love chaos. High body count, high hazard. Hoes love fighting. They do. Except when they're losing. Now that's when hoes stop liking fighting. As soon as they start losing, oh, let me call the police. But right up until then, hoes love fighting. Hoes love fighting. As soon as they lose a fight, lawyer time. But hoes love fighting. Hoes love a fight. Take a look at her old ass mama. Her mama needs to be sitting down somewhere rubbing on her preparation H. No, she's on Instagram. By the way, Kiki, um, you started your weight loss journey. Time to put mom on hers. Mom said, nope, let me go ahead and help you out with the character assassination. She couldn't contain herself. Let your daughter handle your daughter's business. Where's her damn father? Because we know what a man would say. You let your daughter handle her damn business. Why? Because every man knows that at a certain point you let your daughter get out here. And if she does some knucklehead ass stuff, she got to hold that. Hey, you chose that nigga. That is what the men would be saying to the men in here. If you had a daughter and she goes off and ignores your teaching and becomes a bastard baby maker because she bored or she's simple minded or she feeling herself and feeling like I can one up my dad and he doesn't know everything and I'm going to show my independence. And she sits up here and rips out two or three bastard kids. And then she's calling you up talking about how bad things have gone. How many of you fellas in here going to come to her damn rescue? And how many of you going to tell her, look here, you chose. Who's that nigga? If you're, if you're a fellow who's going to come to her rescue, give me the money bag emoji. If you're the fellow who says you chose that nigga, give me the hammer emoji. If you're the fellow who was said, come, come to her rescue and bail her out. Look here, baby. I mean, I think ain't going so well with, with that dude you had on them kids, baby. Let me get a little bit something here to hold you over. Okay, give me the money bag emoji. But if you're the dad who says, wait a minute now, you got to get back on. You, you, you chose that nigga. You chose that nigga. I told you not to do that and you chose that nigga. You going to show me. It's like, okay, now you got to carry it. You're not a child anymore. Now I'm going to let the world teach you what this means. You're a grown woman now. You're not a kid. You were told, don't do that. You going to show me Well, I'm going to do something different. Well, y'all know how it goes. It's like, well, hey, look here. You and your man need to get back over there and handle that. But dad, I need help. Baby, you didn't listen to me. Yeah, well, I'm ready to listen to you now. Um, Look here, baby. You chose that nigga. And deal with it, nigga. You chose him. You chose him. You see, when you make your kids feel like you're going to come swing into their damn rescue like Tarzan the Negro, that's how you end up with daughters out here doing dumb stuff because the truth of the matter is Kiki Palmer hasn't had a problem with Darius Jackson in all these years. Not a problem with his multi-ethnic looking ass at all. She ain't had a problem with Darius up until Darius wasn't going to produce like his older brother. As I said during my video talking about Kiki and the, the Usher incident that she instigated. The real issue is that Kiki has been trying to tell herself that she is a star and she's mid at best. Ain't no offense to you there, Kiki. Is that supposed to be baby hair, y'all? All right. 
no offense, Kiki, but she's been trying to convince herself that she's a star. And the best she could do was Darius. Because when you take off the makeup, and Kiki's been dealing with some skin complexion issues. Okay, I'm not beating up on her about it. I'm just saying all these pictures you see are with the heavy makeup on. If you see her without it, uh, acne all day. No beating up on her. I'm just saying men, the Michael B. Jordans, the Michael B. Jordans are not looking to have to deal with that. Not beating up on her. I'm just saying the Michael B. Jordans and the fellows who going to be built, they swerving around it. So she's kind of got, she kind of got some, got some things she got to deal with there. Okay, what was left was Darius, not even his older brother. What was left was Darius. That's what you could get. That's what you qualify for. And then when we see the irresponsible way in which you decided to proceed with things, well, let's just go get a baby. You proved why it is that you aren't worthy of anything else. And any man who was stupid enough to handcuff himself to you, now he's going to suffer the consequences. Darius Jackson isn't as accomplished as Kiki Palmer would want a man to be. In fact, the truth of the matter is that Darius is just a regular dude. Darius Jackson is just a regular dude. He drives a regular car. He looks a regular way. He makes regular money, not even high status money. He's just a regular dude making regular money, getting by life in a regular way. And his woman sees herself as a star. And once the world started putting attention on her, even for a few moments, she showed, and we guess who taught her this? Oh, crazy eyes. We guess who taught her this? As soon as the world gave her some attention, she went back crap crazy. And she showed what she's really about. Now Darius is no good for her anymore. Now he's not good enough anymore. And that's what this whole thing is, is that now she feels bad because right before she dropped the load, I mean, had the kid, she didn't have a problem with Darius. Once she went on Saturday Night Live, all of a sudden, everybody was paying. She got more attention than she normally was getting since Akila and the B. And then all of a sudden, her whole perspective changed. And then this little green eyed monster she'd always been poking its head out. Now she's like, you're not good enough for me anymore. You're not good enough. You're just my baby daddy now. You're not good enough for me anymore. I need a man who's built. I need a man who's on my level. Well, I was on your level enough to get pregnant by. Yeah, I need this. But I am Kiki the so fine. So I need a man who's actually worth my time. And what she did was she, whatever amounts of contempt and disdain she had had before, she had been sitting on it. She's getting up every day like, look here, nigga, you ain't elevating my life. You ain't nothing. So she went from being happy she could control him to being enraged that she doesn't have to submit to him. He submits to her. That was fine in the beginning when she was worried that she wasn't good enough to get the A-list men she wanted to have. She was okay with Darius then. Just as soon as she got just a little whiff that it could possibly be something better in the offing for her. Then all of a sudden, now she's down on him. Now she's after him. Now she resorts to public humiliation. Let's be clear, folks. If that had been Michael B. Jordan or Idris Elba or you name it, and he's sitting up there grind, he's a married man. If it had been Will Smith grinding on some married woman on Will Smith, some met, grinding on some woman on stage, why they would have been screaming and yelling, "No, oh, that's disrespect, and you can't X Y Z." She has nothing but a toxic fandom and a toxic mother, who's not just toxic, radioactive now. Telling her that's okay to act like that. People, let me explain something to you. A man 
cannot exist without respect. Adoration may be key to a woman's survival, but respect is essential to a man's survival. I didn't just say it was self-image, I said his survival. A man who is not respected is a man who no longer is engaged with his own survival. A man who is not respected is a man who has become disconnected from self-preservation. Because if a man knows, not he thinks, not he wonders, if he knows he is not respected, then that is an existential Look it up. That is a direct threat to his existence. A man can't live without being respected. The only, what you then have is a male who is surviving, not a man who is thriving, but a male who is surviving and he no longer cares if he survives. It's just that crucial. It's just that important. Just like a baby needs affection. We, you all know the stats about infant mortality for babies who are not picked up and held and rubbed. A baby needs affection. A man needs, requires, it is essential that he receive respect. He must have it. And if you shackle him to a woman who is disrespectful, who is contemptuous, her emotional abuse of him, it, we sit here and talk about all the time about how people die from heart attacks because they're stressed in stressful environments. There is no environment more stressful for a man than a woman who is deliberately, emotionally, and psychologically attacking him by disrespecting him. There is no difference between those two. None. Zero. They are one and the same. Ladies, listen to me. They are one and the same. They are one and the same. Just like you seeing a man, you're seeing your man give superior emotional support to another female is heartbreaking. We talk about females, they die from having a heartbreak. So in other words, somebody's withholding affection from you could actually kill you. Well, guess what, ladies? Just like that could have a physical effect on you, disrespecting a man is physical violence against him. And every woman knows it, which is why the first thing they want to do, if you all get into a breakup or something like that, first thing they do is they go after whatever it is they think will disrespect you the most. They go after whatever it is they think will disrespect you, which is why she's out here putting out still images with no context and saying, I have a picture. Let me tell you what this picture means. No, 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 no. Don't ask him and don't ask me for video either, but let me show you what these pictures mean. And I submit to you all, that if she can go back to 2022, she's been doing this for years to him. She has been abusing him, gaslighting him, harassing him, emasculating him, emotionally and mentally uh, assaulting him for years now. Years. And you can see, take a look at her mother. Does she look like she give a damn what her daughter does? Does she look like she gives a damn? So you get into a situation where this man, if that occurred, and I'm not saying that it did, by the way, but by the way, a man has to make a decision between survival and annihilation. Those are the choices he's got to make. Jason, what, what are you saying there? How, how do you put this in another context? Okay, let me go ahead and put this in another context here. Folks, if a man allows his woman, the woman that he lives with, the woman who he stays with, if the woman that he's supposed to be caring and providing for, if he, uh, if uh, I've explained this to you all before, if a man allows this woman to treat him in that manner and he just accepts it, then when he goes out into the world, He's going to have to accept it there too. 
You cannot turn on manhood and turn it off like a light switch. You see, that is what sick, psycho, abusive single moms and their supporters sit up here and try to teach you. A man cannot turn on his manhood and turn it off like some light switch. A man's manhood is either on or it isn't. So if he allows this, this woman to disrespect him and allows this woman to disrespect him, then he's also got to allow all those other men over there to disrespect him too because you cannot fight better than you've practiced. If you adopt this as your daily practice that, well, people can just disrespect me, then when you are finally in a situation where you cannot accept it, you will not be able to respond differently because you don't know any other way. They have finally emasculated you. And there's nothing of you left. You're just a hollowed out shell of what used to be a man. No, I submit to you, you can't tolerate that. I know where it came from. Darius got a chick who believes she is above his pay grade. Let me explain something to you here, Kiki. And I know it's going to get back to you here. I got celebrity friends out there and we got some similar circles. I know it's going to get back to you here, Kiki. But let me go ahead and explain the facts of life to you here, baby. You were never on that level. The, the thing that you fantasize about, that little bad girl image that you, you were in Hollywood and you were in a couple of films and a couple of television shows and you tell yourself that you should be on that Beyonce, Rihanna level. Baby, you ain't never been there. You've never been there. You're not the kind of chick that these dudes fall to their damn feet for. You can sit up here and put up as many pictures of you showing your airbrushed Photoshop pictures of yourself, throwing as much cleavage out there as you want to. You can go jump in front of the usher with your butt cheeks swinging out all that you'd like to. But at the end of the day, baby, that ain't you. Men don't see you that way. And whatever your quote unquote accomplishments are in Hollywood, that don't matter to us. Not to the men that you tell yourself you should qualify for. You don't, you don't got it like that. You don't. You just don't. That's not you. You can dream and fantasize and wish it were. Baby, it ain't you. You and Cardi B ain't never going to get down like that. The Michael B. Jordans, the up and coming black men of Hollywood ain't checking for a chick like you. I'm not saying that to put you down or belittle you or degrade you. I'm giving you the facts of damn life. The men that you, the type of men in Hollywood that you tell yourself that you could see yourself with, they can't see themselves with you. Damn. That's just it. You can fantasize about being with them, but they don't see themselves with you. That does not mean that they would not lay up with you. They damn sure would, as long as nobody can prove it, nobody can take any pictures. But that's called recreation. As far as who's going to make a commitment, there's the guy right there that will make a commitment to you. And you can tell yourself that he's lame, he's beta, he's soft. You can tell yourself that all you want to. Baby, that's your level in life. You're not as hot as you tell yourself you are. Now you're just a single mother out here with mental and emotional issues, a whacked out crazy ass mama sitting up here running her damn mouth and showing everyone exactly what the issue was all along. You can fantasize that you belong with a higher class of man if you want to, but that's just delusion. You're a otherwise polite chick with glasses, but we're not hiring someone for customer service. You're talking about having a lifelong partner and a man with something to lose can see through your issues from a mile away. You're not as glamorous as you want to tell yourself. You got to put on all the makeup to get yourself passable, not beating up on you. I'm just saying, hey, it's a handicap. It is. The men that you want to be with, they got chicks who don't require all this fixer upper. They don't have to build a bay. And they're saying, hey, we got better options. Kiki, what I'm telling you is you're an average chick. Take off all that 
take off all that stuff from the Fenty people. Stop airbrushing and filtering. Take off these Instagram filters. You're an average chick. I don't know if I, 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 I'm going to say borderline basic. There's not something exceptional going on. Baby, what you do for a living, that doesn't, that's not a value added proposition. You're an average chick. Okay. You qualify for the average dude. You can have delusions of grandeur all you want to. You can sit up here and listen to your mammy, but gas your head up. You're her retirement check. Not anybody else's. You can gas up all you want to. The men that you think are on your level, they see you as just an average chick. Your average, your average, uh, extra, an extra in Hollywood, not a leading lady. The fellas you want to be with in Hollywood see you as an extra, not even a co-star. You're not, you're, you're not a leading lady. But you tell yourself that because you on the TV screen with Lawrence Fishburne 20 years ago, that you are. And you refuse to let it go. Usher was willing to march you out on stage for a quick minute because that was just one con. Kiki. I know you thought the Usher concert was a bellwether moment in American music. I know you tell yourself that that Usher concert was the, was the Lollapalooza of the decade. All I can tell you is lie. Baby, that was just, that was an Instagram show for Usher. That was just one date on a, Year of calendar dates. That wasn't some bellwether monumental MTV historic event. It was an historic event for you. It was Tuesday for Usher. And deal with it, nigga. That was, that, that was a monumental change your life event for you. You made headlines, but you only made headlines because it was an Usher concert and you were disrespecting your man. No, you didn't make any headlines simply because you showed up. Remove, and that's so what that shows you. If we remove Darius from that Usher concert, it was a non-event. If we remove your baby daddy from the Usher concert, nobody cares. Including Usher. You were just a minute in time for Usher to get some quick attention on his way to the next date. This was a non-event for Usher. This was world changing for you. That should be confirmation. You should have picked up a clue that that's what it is. Baby, you have overrated yourself, and I know who it was who told you that. Another hard-headed-ass female that men tried to get away from. Another one. You can overrate yourself all you damn well want to. Darius Jackson is up to speed for you. Darius Jackson is on your level. Your mm, relative quote-unquote success in Hollywood, baby, that doesn't add any value to it. That don't add any value. It doesn't. It doesn't. No value at all. I'd like to tell you all that this is the end of the insanity. I would like to tell you all that that is the end of it and that it is over, but that would be a lie because there are other females out here and here's where the screw turns. Men have to be very, very careful in the 21st century because there are a nonstop parade of trip mines and snares waiting to take from you what you have. I want to get into that here in just a moment. Before I do, I want to thank everyone who has contributed to tonight's nice program on PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat, Venmo. Big shout out here to uh, W1 Chucky Woo. Thank you very much for the Super Chat. Uncle Ox or Shy, Afrique, New York. Thank you very much for your support. We appreciate that. Folks, I wish I could tell you it was going to be over that quickly, but it actually isn't. For those of you who did not know, for those of you who didn't know, this happened. Oh, yeah. In case you hadn't heard about this, 
the woman, the female who's been the face of the ownership of the Turkey Leg Hut down there in Houston, wants a divorce. She wants a divorce now. Oh, and she doesn't just want a divorce. Oh, no, 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 no. That would be too easy. Because straight out of the Kiki Palmer playbook of attacking and emasculation, why she goes straight to Instagram. Absolutely why she's such an honorable person. She goes straight to Instagram. As you can see on your screen here. Oh, she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I'm here, now that I'm on the scene, let me just go straight to Instagram and say that. She says, I've been quiet for so long and I can no longer hold my silence. As if she ever were. Come on, folks. This war. Do you hear this language? This war that I've been fighting behind closed doors all the while pretending to the world that everything is perfect. Oh, so you're a liar? So you're telling people that you're a liar is what you're saying. You're a liar. All right, just checking. Pretending to the world that everything is perfect is too much to bear. I am living in hell on earth. I, 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 me, 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 my, I'm so great. I'm so wonderful. Narcissism, anyone? The abuse, the manipulation, the lies, the deceit, the gaslighting and narcissism. Yeah, are you going to quit? Have become unbearable. Oh, you mean you're talking about, oh, you're talking about somebody else, not yourself? Okay, I missed it there. Oh, you mean somebody else, not you. Oh, all right. The world thinks he's a man who stands on business, but y'all are sadly mistaken, folks. Straight out of the Kiki and Sharon Palmer books on attacking a man straight out of the playbook. Straight out the playbook. I mean, this is with literally no change and she's doing the exact same thing. Let me go to social media. Let me go ahead and put out some words about him. Let me attack him first. By the way, where are all of you sucker ass, gutter ass hood rats who sat up here and, and your simp, lame, moist niggas who sat up here and said that Tyrese needs to go sit down and you need to do this. But you shouldn't be going out in public like this. I don't see any of them bombing on Kiki, Kiki's mama. Uh, this woman, Nakia, I don't see any of y'all bombing on them and saying, hey, you're lame for going to social media. You need to keep this behind closed doors. You got kids. You're a lame for doing that. You notice you don't hear them doing that? You don't hear anybody telling them that that's immature. You're very immature for doing this. Isn't that amazing? You don't see the comment sections and whatnot telling the women, hey, you're a lame and you're immature and you're childish for going in public and doing this. Why, why not, folks? Why not? Why is it we're not hearing the same thing? I'll let you speculate on the type of society we live in today. The man that me and my children know is cruel abusive emotionally and mentally and completely void of any emotion. Whoa, she's talking about him like he's Hannibal Lecter. What? How'd you stay married to this man all this time? So all of a sudden he is cruel, abusive. Mentally and completely, completely, mentally, uh, abusive emotionally and mentally and completely void of any emotion. What the hell? All in one weekend? This all happened in one weekend? Really? Really? Okay. All right. All right. From the time we wake up till the time we close our eyes each night, we are literally in a fight for our peace and sanity. She didn't say their physical safety, our peace and sanity. Fellas, 
when you hear a female talking about peace, fellas, when you hear that, it's time to head for the exits. If you talk to a female who mentions that the problem she's had in her relationship is peace, peace means I want control. In the 21st century, dude, let's stop beating around the damn bush. When a female today says that she wants peace, what she means is I want control. I want to be able to destroy the uh, finances, destroy the, I want to be in control. And if you won't let me, I don't have peace. I want to have as many bastard kids as I want. And if you don't, I'm not at peace. It's not peace. I know my worth and it's always better than yours. I want peace. And peace simply means I want control. I want the ability to abuse. I want the ability to hurt. I want the ability to harm. I want the ability to emasculate. I don't care if you are completely disgusted by everything that's going on. As long as I say I'm all right everything's fine. As long as I say the relationship is good, everything is good. It doesn't matter if you like the relationship or not. If I say it's okay, it's okay. But if I say it's not, oh, everything's wrong. And I just can't have peace because I can't ruin everything. So fellas, don't play yourselves. That's not, don't just take it as hippie talk or she's just being emotional in touch with her feelings. When a female tells you that she wants peace and that it's a man who is the problem with her peace, fellas, side chick only, actually jump off only. You can ignore what I'm saying tonight and go walk your ass off into that if you want to. Just understand, today she's complaining about Darius and Lynn at the Turkey Leg Hut. Tomorrow it'll be you. With you telling yourself that you've done everything different from these other people. And when she first got with you, she told you you were so much different. And as soon as she couldn't abuse you the way she wanted to, then all of a sudden the relationship is messed up. I can admit that I've played my part in hindering and hiding his behavior. Whoa, folks. So in other words, her only fault is that she was covering for how bad of a person he was. I admit, I have a fault too. My fault is that I was hiding what a monster he is. Really? I, 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 me, 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 my, my, my. I wonder how many degrees this heifer has. Damn! How much you all want to bet that she's sitting on a bunch of degrees? We'll come back to that. I can admit that I played my part in hindering and hiding his behavior, but today, ooh, all caps, did you see that? But today, I'm finally choosing me. People, this is the this is the dictionary and the thesaurus of female narcissism. I'm choosing me, peace, sanity. I, me, my, I, I. The only, I, I had a problem in the relationship that I was just so good. In the chat room, be Belize, that she, how selfless of her. Yeah, yeah. Sarcasm noted. Yeah, she's so selfless. She's going right down the list in one document, exposing to you every single neuroses and psychoses right down the damn list. And I'm going to tell you fellas in a minute here what went wrong. I'm going to tell you what went wrong. And this is a hard one for the men to accept. It's kind of, a, it can sometimes be difficult for me, but I've got to go there. I'm finally choosing me since when did she not choose herself? Every sentence in here is I, I, me, me, my, my. I can admit that I've played a part. I, folks, do y'all get that? I can admit that I've played my part in hindering and hiding his behavior. But today I'm finally choosing me. 
I'll die behind this truth and I'll lose everything to finally have peace. I brought light to his life while he came into mine to destroy not only me, but all who love me. Folks, is there a psychologist in the house who would like to dissect this paragraph and tell us about the mentality of this female? I'm finally closing this chapter, but I know the battle is about to commence and I'm ready. Well, I'm glad to hear that because your husband ain't said nothing. Your husband has not said a word about fighting anybody. Folks, can you imagine this being your mother? This is what God saved the children of the crazy mamas. We have a generation of psychotic, loony, whacked out, crazed out, they damn minds females, which is why more and more of them are living under bridges and becoming cat ladies. They're becoming uh, pet teenagers. Fellas, if you meet a chick in her early 20s with a pet, nigga, run! Don't walk, run! These are the telltale signs. She's talking real spacey. She's talking about peace. She's trying to talk about, quote, spirituality. She smokes weed. She's got plants. She already got bastard kids. Fellas, wake the hell up. Stop being so damn desperate for an easy lay that you sit up here and get yourself permanently shackled to someone who is so obviously, obviously troubled. But there's a reason for that. We'll come to that here in just a moment. I know after I win this war, I'll finally have my peace. My peace. Nothing about the children. Do you notice that? Nothing about the children here. Did you notice this right here? Take a look at this. Take a look at this. No, for all you bastard baby makers who don't like it when Jason starts ripping it. Take a look at this. I can take a look at the whole last half of this. I can admit that I played my part in hindering and hiding his behavior, but today I'm finally choosing me. I'll die behind this truth and I'll lose everything to finally have peace. I brought light to his life when he came into mine to destroy not only me, but all who love me. I'm finally closing this chapter, but I know the battle is about to commence and I'm ready. I know after I win this war, I'll finally have my peace. There are so many more chapters to my story, but this one is officially closed. I'm going to need all the support I can get, but I also know that God has me. Not a word about her children. Now, you can't argue what you see on this screen. Not a word about them except if they can be weaponized against him. She let the real thing come out here. This is about me, me, my, my, I, I, myself. How do you end up here? How do you end up here? I'll tell you how you end up here. Folks, I gotta go ahead and let you know, right? How is it that a man can end up in a situation and he can end up in a situation where it's so obviously bad and so obviously flawed? I'll show you exactly why. You want to know why it is? This is why the truth of the matter is crazy hoes are awesome in bed. Crazy hoes have a raw, uninhibited, unrestricted sexual energy. It just is what it is. Crazy hoes are succubuses. Succubi. Whatever. Crazy hoes are nymphs. Crazy hoes got the sex game broke down. It just is what it is. L little same chicks, same chicks don't do it the same way. They just don't. They just ain't got that it factor. Just, they don't. It, I, I'm not going to sit here and lie. And let me tell you, Kiki, Nakia, Kiki's mama, crazy as hell. Crazy as hell. Okay, to the ladies listening, let me try this a different way. Y'all ain't gonna like it when I say this, but crazy hoes got this. They have a monopoly. They got a monopoly on great sex. They just do it. 
And it's going to hurt some of y'all's feelings. Some of the square cheeses and Jason down say it, but it's true. They have a monopoly. They do. It's like they, they're, they're gourmet. They are not good. They are gourmet. I mean, there's them and then there's everything else. It really is like that. It's them and then there's eh, McDonald's. And I'm not even talking about the, the, the deluxe menu in McDonald's. I'm talking about that little old quarter pounder thing that they throw out the, that Whopper, at Burger King, the Whopper Jr. Just one raggedy ass moist bun they throw it out on. So I'm just telling you, crazy chicks, fellas hop in the bed with them and that's it. That is it. It's like going to the moon. He's like, whoa. I mean, this, the other chick is trying to take you in a hot air balloon. You sitting up here looking up at the moon like a damn puppy looking at the skies. <laughs> and your square ass girlfriend can't figure out why? She can't figure out what is it that that other chick did? I don't understand. What's the difference? What's the difference, baby? I mean, I, I mean, I, I can tell you what the difference is, but you ain't gonna like it. I mean, is do you really want me going into that? Do you really want me going into that? No, I, I'm trying to spare your little ego. So let's just leave this alone. It's, she's got a passport to go places, baby. You ain't never seen. It's just that's just it. Love you though. Love you though. You know that thing that I had to badger you about for six or seven months? You know that thing? Yeah, she was right there. She was just off rip. She was right there off rip. I'm talking about frictionless service. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to be honest about it. Yeah, I mean, crazy hoes are awesome in bed. Crazy hoes. I mean, that's a major part of a relationship is sex. And those chicks put their everything into it. Everything. The little square chicks are sitting up here trying to negotiate. Crazy chicks put their everything into it. And then comes the turn. And then comes that turn. And let me tell you when that turn gets hooked up in there. Nigga, that's your ass. Because the only thing she likes better than great sex is great pain. And event you there for the great sex. And she's like, you know what would make this sex even better? If I was having sex with someone I hate, if I was having sex with someone that I have emotional turmoil and extreme drama with, that's, that will make our sex better. It's okay if we had sex loving each other, but wouldn't it be better if we just hated each other? Wouldn't that make the sex that much more intense if we despised each other? Oh, no, no, no. I don't mean fake despising. I don't just mean that smack me on the ass thing. Oh, no. I mean, seriously, like, I tried to screw up your life. I mean, like, literal, authentic tears going down your face. I mean, like, I tried to burn up your favorite car. I mean, like, I tried to slash my tires, your face. I mean, like that. Wouldn't that make the sex between us so much better? Because now you've got sex mixed with pain and heartache and angst and animosity and emotional conflict. You can't get that from a healthy relationship. Only a toxic feminine one can give you that. Why wouldn't the sex be so much better if we just had conflict and hostility between us? Wouldn't that be a high? And by the way, there's a number of females in this chat room and listening to me live or recorded who are sitting there saying, damn, Jason, you kind of understand me. And deal with it, nigga. There's a number of females listening to me right now saying, damn, Jason, you know my number. But yeah, it is what it is. 
Crazy hoes know what they're doing. They know what they're doing when they get out there. Whatever you want, they serving it up. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Whatever you want, they serving it up. Hot and spicy. Fellows are getting caught up and don't realize that's all part of the game plan. It is all part of the plan. All part of it. This is why a man got to stand on his damn square. Fellas, when you meet a chick and you know that this chick ain't no damn good, you know full damn well that she is neither mother material nor wife material. I need the men of the 21st century to grow some damn guts and look a chick dead in the eye and say, hey, I fool with you for real, you cool people. I rock with you, but yeah, you ain't wife material. So let's keep this at a level that you can actually maintain because you're not really suitable or fit for something else. You're trying to go somewhere that you don't qualify for. And truth be told, you don't even really want it. So we need to keep this where it's at. Fellas are letting chicks up here and gaslight them. See, when a man is a relentless player and he meets a young chick and she tells him, oh, I can't really fool with you because I'm looking for something serious and you're not serious. Men don't get offended. Men don't get offended about that. We're like, hey, baby, it's all good. Men don't get offended. When females tell us things like that, we're just like, hey, she probably, you're probably right. You tell the women that, oh, you you don't know what you're talking about. That's not true. I can't have it all. No, you just a little crazy broad looking for some dumb nigga who's going to sit up here and get ringed in. And then you'll call that a relationship. Meanwhile, fellas. It's not an insult to tell a chick what she doesn't qualify for. That's called adulthood. Ladies, it's not an insult for men to tell you, baby, you ain't no wife material, no mother material. You're just a whacked out chick who's looking to get some dumbass to marry you. Some dumbass to get you pregnant so you can sit up here and keep up all the damn torment. Nah, that's not you. You'd be better. I can't make you stay in your lane, but you'd be better off staying there because this ain't you. You're a wreck. Instead of her saying, you know what? You show it right. Let me be the best hoe I can be. Instead, it's, you don't know what you're talking about. You're trying to hold me. I need my peace. I need my peace. You're not giving me peace. It becomes that. Ladies, y'all won't let us be real with you. Women won't just let us be real with you. Folks, it's mathematically impossible that the majority of females are either wife or mother material. That's just mathematics. That's just mathematics. So why is it you can't let them just fool with you on the level that you're actually on? Just let us fool with you on the level that you're actually on. No, I'm going to badger you and bludgeon you and demand you give me better than that. Instead of just let it be what it's going to be. This is where you can be. This is where you can be. So fellas, I understand how you got caught up. I see how it can happen. I see how that can happen. I understand. I get it. I get it. But by the same token, I want you to get it. Fellas, I'm not telling you you can't lay up with the crazy hoes. I'm not going to say you can't lay up with the crazy hoes. Fellas, do what you do. But don't let them get you over no damn barrel. Set firm boundaries. Know that she's got an entry date and an exit date. And then leave it the hell at that. Leave it the hell at that. 
There's the real problem is that if fellas had more control and more discipline, that would be a different issue. We wouldn't have that problem. Fellas have zero control, zero damn discipline. Can't figure out how the hell you're getting yourself into a mess. Darius did not have to have a baby with Kiki. He did it for one reason, because Darius, this is the top of his life. This is the best he would ever have. So he was willing to pitch camp. He ignored the fact that this woman pay attention. Every single male out there listening to me from sea to shining sea. You are making a fatal mistake when you are dealing with a female who sees herself as better than you. Jason, how can I tell if a female sees herself as better than me? Fellas, very, very simple metric that I can give you right now. 100,000% reliable everywhere in your lives. You will never go wrong with this. Does your woman acknowledge that you are her superior? If she doesn't on every single level, if she doesn't, if she cannot bring herself to publicly say, this man is better than me. This man is smarter than me. This man is better than I am. He's above my pay grade. If this one, if that woman keeps trying to equalize you two, she keeps trying to drag you two back down to the same level. She keeps trying to say that you and she are peers. She keeps saying that, oh, me and him are the same. I, I, I deserve him and he deserves me as opposed to I hit the bag. He's an upgrade. He's far better than I deserve or qualify for. This man is nowhere near my level. If she's not saying that, fellas, if she keeps trying to make you two peers, hey, dumbass, she thinks she's better than you. She's not playing with you. She keeps doing that because she's saying, by the way, I, can, I can't just come out and say I'm better than you. Not just yet, I can't. But, and eh, we gonna get there. We gonna get there. There's not a single fella in here who ignored that. Some of y'all need to pay attention to the way your chicks talk, man. Pay attention to the way she talks. Pay attention to what she says to other people. Pay attention to the way she addresses you and your status relative to hers. If she doesn't acknowledge you as the person she looks up to, then she doesn't see herself as your subordinate and she doesn't see herself as your peer. She sees herself as your superior, but she's doing you the favor, or should I say charity, of not just breaking your little heart and just coming out with it and telling you. Well, that would just break him if he knew that. So, yeah, but you're not really my peer. I'm better than you are. It is always going to come around. It's always, fellas, either your woman is looking up at you or she's looking down at you. There is no in-between. There is no parody. Because women can't function under parody. Women cannot function under equality. You try to put a man's responsibilities on a woman, she immediately, not 10 minutes later, not two days later, immediately refuses to carry it. She won't. She'll talk garbage in front of the world. She wants your paycheck, but she doesn't want your responsibilities. The moment you tell her you got to carry the equal load, she immediately stops and says, no, I refuse. I refuse. She doesn't want a man that she can look over at. She demands a man she can look up to or she is going to harbor contempt for you the entire time. I can name for you a never ending stream of males who sat up here and have ignored this. They've ignored this. You look at Will Smith and tell yourself that he's the, the quintessential example of it. No, him and Jada are an extreme example, but they're not the only one.
Stop gaslighting yourselves, fellas. No, it really is that simple. Yes, it really is that real. Brother, does she talk about you're better than her? Then she means she's better than you. Jason, you overgeneralize. You being so extreme. You being so harsh. Two years later, my name is Darius Jackson, and, and I'm fighting these charges. <laughs>